Well, before you get cherry blossomed out, if that's even possible, this weekend is the Cherry Blossom Road Race and Fun Run. And when they say fun, they really mean it. Billy Oliver of Wesley Glen Ministries and Sam Martinez from the Macon Track Running Club stopped in to get all the details for you. Wesley Glen Ministries is the United Methodist agency that serves adults with developmental disabilities. We accomplish this through 30, 31 residential sites. Okay. We have seven in the Macon area, uh, apartments, uh, group homes, and we also are located in St. Mary's and Jessup, and we have an apartment complex in, in Douglas. Then we have two host homes that are outside of the Macon area. Okay. So we're right now serving about 73 families in all. Um, some of the ways we serve, in addition to the group homes, are we have what is known as Cornerstone, which is a, a day program, mm -hmm. or a community access program is the way it's referred to now, and individuals come and are there for a period of time during, during each day, and they have various activities that they're involved in, both in our Life Skills Center that's on the Macon campus. And, and elsewhere. Okay, and you're sponsoring the Cherry Blossom Road Race that's this weekend, correct? And that's so correct. We want to then bring in the track star. Uh, Sam, if you can talk a little bit about <coughs> this, this race that's this weekend, it's a Cherry Blossom sanctioned event. So uh, what are people gonna expect when they, when they show up to, to this race? 10K, 5K, fun run, all that good stuff that's going on. Sure, well, what we have to offer really is a, is a host, is a multitude of activities. So we do have the race events for the the runners the hardcore runners so we have a fast 5k race we have a fast 10k race but then we also have a great uh walker friendly course uh, a lot of the courses on flat terrain on mm -hmm. rivoli very scenic so we have people who just want to enjoy being there being a part of the activities being a part of the event and so those people can actually take their time leisurely walk the course and uh, enjoy themselves just being out there. We also have a fun run. That's going to be a one-mile fun run. That'll be safe. It'll be on the campus of Howard Middle School. Okay. Where young people, young and, and their parents and their grandparents can also enjoy a shorter distance run as well. And then on the event campus, we will also have activities. We have kids corral. So we have activities for people that are not running in the race to actually stay busy, to have some booths to go to do, busy yeah. and things to do while the race event is, our mm -hmm. events are going on. And where is that going to be? This is going to all be at Howard Middle School at, okay. uh, on the campus of Howard Middle School. Okay, so there's activities for everybody. Now, is this a fundraiser for your ministries mm -hmm. then too? Since, I mean, there is a, a fee to, to, to race and to be right. a part of this, correct? Yeah, the fee at this point is $25 per person. But uh, we raise funds in order to be able to pay for the cost of care of the residents who are not able to pay for their total, total cost of care. So this helps us be able to subsidize uh, those costs. Okay. And um, talking about the events, I remember last year I was the pace car for, for the fun race part. And a lot of uh, young people were involved in that and junior high and, and younger and uh -huh. their parents. and. Uh, like I said, I hadn't driven a pace car before. They all went around me. <laughs> and so little, I, leaned out, slow, huh? I leaned out the window and said, y'all don't even know where the track is. Where, where are you going? And keep your <laughs> so foot on the gas the next Really a, a fun event. A fun event. Very yeah, good. absolutely. Very quickly, very quickly. Uh, when is it? Where is it again? again? It's going to be this Saturday. Uh -huh. It'll begin um, at 8.15, uh -huh. and then the fun run and, and walk uh, is a little later in the day, but... It'll all be over at usually about 1030. It'll be okay. at Howard Middle School, ample parking. And so uh, we really look forward to it. And I just want to say a word of appreciation to all the volunteers that help us with this. And Tom Adrian is the race director, and he pulls all of this together with Sam's help, making track and other organizations in the community. And um, we're very grateful for that support. And you can sign up the day of the race and you can register at cherryblossomroadrace.com and we'll have all that information for you on our website, 41nbc.com.